Welcome back guys, Colonel Pennsylvania Temps YT with the Pennsylvania State Police. Uh, today I'm here with a basically a 1011 training guide on how to perform a traffic stop. So a couple things you want to keep in mind before we start this is the trooper's alley. This The, the way my vehicle is parked in now is the trooper's alley. It's where your front right headlight is basically line, uh, lined up with the suspect's left rear tail light. So keep that in mind because you'll need that later in the video. Another thing is lighting. You guys want to always have lights on a vehicle. So like you want to have, if it's dark out, make sure you have your headlights on and make sure you have a spy light or takedowns on. You could have all three on if you want. Well, you always have to have your headlights on if it's dark. That's just a law. But you know, if just make sure you have lights on the vehicle so you can see what's going on inside. And last are directionals. If you are parked out really far into the lane, make sure you use directionals to tell people to get over. You know, PSP uses them, so there's nothing wrong with that. So. First, when you pull somebody over, you know, you blip your siren, do all that, you know, get them all pulled over, then you pull, just like how I'm pulled. Now, normally a suspect's vehicle would be straight, but, you know, not everybody parks the same. Um, so, before we approach this fine gentleman in the gray Chevy, we first want to call it in. So, first... You would call them here, you know, really. so you would say King 1, whatever your call sign is. You would say Traffic 4-Door Chevy OCC times 1, or however many occupants are in there. Main Street, no 32s. You always want to make sure that you include 32s or no 32s. If you do want 32s, let's say if I want a 32, I'll put times 1 32 or times 2. If you're doing a high risk stop, which is in the next video that will be linked into the description, if you're going to do that, make sure you call for times 2 32s. But that will be going over in the next video. So after you call it in, you know, it might tag, but you can always do it in a different format. You then want to get out your vehicle, right? And you want to approach the vehicle. So I would say, evening. You always want to, you always want to pronounce yourself. And then you want to say why you're stopping. So you would say stopping you for running the red light back there. Now, before you guys also put it in the, through the radio, make sure you guys think of what you're going to say first. So this can be through uh, voice, RTO, whatever. Uh, you know, just make sure you think of what you're going to say. So after you basically tell them what you're stopping them for, you then ask for ID. Now, as you can tell, usually I would be I could be slanted like this, or I could be facing him. It's better to be slanted like this in case he pulls out a gun or something. You, I would then take the ID. And now notice, you always want to keep an eye when you're walking back, because they can easily pop out the car and shoot you. After you get back in the car, Everybody should be in the CAD. So you would first log in. You would then do search records. And since me and him are only in a session, you would first search the plate number in case he runs away. The plate always has the owner's name and everything. So you don't have to worry about it. So there's the plate. And you always want to check if the registration status is active. If the insurance status is active or valid, and if it's reported stolen, those are th those are the three main things. You also want to check these and make sure these all match up in case you know 
it's a different plate on a different vehicle. So these all look fine. This is active, valid, no, which is all fine. And the color comes back to the same card. Now we're going to search up the owner. This is the owner, so I would then go back to search. And on the CAD, it should say nearby users. Click on that. And it pops up with recent citations, recent arrests, etc. So this is what he looks like. And it seems like he has one recent arrest or one prior, if you want to call it. Uh, doesn't The reason is a one star one in level, so we won't know the reason really. But the, his license status is active and he's not wanted. You always want to make sure if this is red right down here, that means he's wanted and you need to advance it to a high risk stop or a felony stop, however you call it. Uh, that will be in the link in the description on how to do that. But yeah, once we do that, you then decide if you want to ticket him or not. I decide I want to ticket him. So then I would get out, grab my ticket book, and I'll basically say, So, we're then going to find him, we're going to write a Chevy four-door since we don't know the vehicle model, and then location is Main Street dash parking garage. You always want to put a cross street or some place near. We'll then give him a hundred dollar fine. Alright, sign there for me. So, once he signs, once he RPs that he signs, he will then hand it back to me. Okay, so he handed it back to me. So now I'm going uh, to give him back his ID. So gives back information and copy of tickets. After you say they're free to go, they can then drive off, and then you will then ha head back to your vehicle, turn your lights off, and then mark yourself back 10-8. So then how I mark myself back 8 is King 1-1, one, one, 10 eight, Active Supervisor. And yeah, that's how you basically do a traffic stop and PSP. Uh, every department's the same, but this is a video, a training video for PSP. So yeah, make sure you guys check out the high risk stop video. Link is in the description. And yeah, see you guys.